previously on Sailing Catalpa. I learned to make traditional m and salad and we bake a cake. Then Nico takes us to see some pretty places here in Ambon. This episode, we head to the mountains. And Taj learns you can't always trust Dad flying the drone. A bit of a ride in the car to the mountains to an awesome place nestled amongst the trees and laid out with some cute little places to take photos. suspect whether this would hold us up or not. spotted a flying fox and decided they wanted a turn. Lee got the drone, as you do, to get some creative footage and ready to film the kids whizzing along from above. Taj was up first and excited for his turn. was the drone the drone got a mite of its own and decided to fly into the wires and drop down onto our darling son flying The blade. What really happened was Lee miscalculated how close he was. Didn't see the wires. It hit the wire and then dropped down onto Taj. Poor, poor Taj. So, um, tell us what happened just now. Cut the drone cut through me. <laughs> Taj was on this flying fox up here and um, Daddy got a little excited, got too close and... <laughs> bladed me. He bladed him. Broke the drone too, but hopefully. It can be fixed maybe. Hoping, fingers crossed. With the drone and Lee banished from the skies, the kids were now free to fly without worrying about being chopped. Even Taj got back up there. Now for the drone, Taj. Joe <laughs> is prepared for all drone accidents at all times and made sure Taj and his injuries were looked after. Thanks, mate. Besides the little accident, it was a great day and Taj survived to see another one. Nothing a little nasi padang can't fix. What happened, babe? Well, we had a little accident. We had a crash today. Yeah, and Taj we're, we're just... We're lucky no one died. Taj destroyed our drone. I can't believe he was in the road of this thing while I was flying it. It crashed straight into him and broke this. And his skin and his fingernails. And nearly chopped Taj in two. <laughs> and we were at like a fun park today. So I got Father of the Year award chopping up his son in front of all the kids and families. 
<laughs> it could have been a lot worse. It could have been his face and it could have just it hurt him a lot more, so we're thankful it did it. So it's only a little um it's only the little mount there that actually unscrews off, but it's just that Indonesian thing where like where do we get it from? It's probably like a two dollar part. So we have to order now from Jakarta. Yeah. Maybe. We, we've got a friend here now, so Yeah, two days they say to ship from Jakarta, so oh. Yeah, it's out of the year this guy. So you don't need to fly that close to get good footage, honey. Lahitu village in Hila is home to some old and interesting places. This one being Fort Amsterdam. In 1512, a Portuguese explorer established a trading lodge. Then in the 17th century, the Dutch converted the lodge into a defensive post. <laughs> Mr. Ren Pearson, we're building here from 1997 and 99. Yeah. Big problem, Amun. Big problem? To Amun. Yeah. Yeah. He says it's the buoy. You know buoy? If you don't work, the claim here inside. Oh. Hold on. Dutch. Oh, okay. oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, if you don't work, but you go in Yeah. There. If you don't work. Yeah, if you don't work, please here. One, one day, two day, or one week, or one month. Oh. Don't, uh, don't, don't eat something. Oh, okay. And that in the side. <laughs> Punishment. <laughs> ah, nice view. Sarum Islands. Yeah. So. Tell me about this. Is a fort? Yeah, they, Fort Amsterdam. They... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's the Fort Amsterdam in Hilakaitetu, and the other is Seram Island here. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Work. From here, uh, six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. We arrive six o'clock. Oh yeah. And do you stay up there? Yeah. Very nice. Sleep Good. up there? Yeah, sleep. So no problem. Yeah. No shark. No snake. No snake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, one before, yeah. And oh, so this is number two. Yeah, but now just rain fish it. Yeah, but yes, it, yeah, it yeah, yeah. Long, yeah. And also here, and that is now, and this. So it's all Dutch. Yeah, that's yeah. also Dutch. Yeah. But oh. before it's Portuguese. Oh, Catholic. Portuguese before it was. Yeah, Catholic Portuguese. Okay. Yeah, from uh, 1536. 1536. And after Portuguese. Yeah. Come down from Dutch. Yeah. And Dutch come again. Yeah. From uh, 1617. Uh, yeah. And this the fourth the name is the Fort Amsterdam. Yeah. 
food. Uh, for the uh, food. Yeah. 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 Same in the all the church. The church before Dutch coming is Catholic also. Yeah, Portuguese. But the mm -hmm. tang is fort. Yeah. So very old. Very old, yeah. yeah. And now just uh, 450 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, same. And the, the, uh, most, uh, the church also, but mosque just about 600 years ago, from 1414. Okay. Yeah. The old church, Emmanuel, was built in 1659 and is the oldest church building in Maluku. The church has been restored and is no longer in regular use. As the village here is Muslim. Old church. Oh, yeah. Emmanuel. Emmanuel Church from Ila, uh -huh. 82 years. Okay. Yeah. How old is this? Uh, just you now uh, 450 years ago. 450 years? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So before there is uh, uh, Portugal, mm -hmm. yeah, it's the Catholic religion, and yeah. after just uh, Dutch coming, mm -hmm. and from uh, 1780, and that's the name of the Emmanuel. Church, oh, okay. yeah, it's a kind of Protestant. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the village here is super friendly and big fans of selfies. <laughs> The <laughs> 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 name uh, Wapa Ue Mosque, yeah. Yeah. Just from uh, 1414, yeah. Yeah, 1414. Yeah, yeah. And now just 600 years ago. Yeah. Wapawi Old Mosque was established in 1414. It is the oldest mosque in the Malaccas and possibly the oldest mosque in Indonesia, which has been maintained in its original state. Nico and his family live in a village here in Ambon called Amahusu. Not far from his home, they own a beautiful block of land, and we were treated to some delicious food and good times here on the hill in Ambon. <laughs> about Ambon and Lee here is having some lessons on how to play. My teacher will be yeah, like right. <laughs> <laughs> You learn quickly. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. 
yeah. I have to push, push myself. Yeah. <laughs> 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 teacher pay place here. Yeah. Yeah. Teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So That's... when we teach someone, we like this too. some stuff that he knew and had a sing song Matilda, we'll sing Matilda, you'll come. Very good. <laughs> then it was time to try some traditional food our last name is rice <laughs> yeah. 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 rice <laughs> Okay, you make a video? I make video. You tell us what that is, Nico? Okay, this is a uh, papeda. Papeda is a uh, traditional local from Maluku. All island is like this. So usually we eat this with uh, soup like this. Mm -hmm. This time we make from with uh, pork soup. We call it this uh, pork asam padis. But we can make it with fish or chicken. Okay. And so you that is not don't have a taste but the soup have a taste so ah. <laughs> you gotta do that yeah, you, you see, do you like got no look watch watch you see like this give a soup after that <laughs> you got your turn. like this Yeah, yes. this one is not happening. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, please describe what it's like. It's different. <laughs> What's it like? Okay. There you go with a top like that. It looks like this. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> we make video for posting in our uh, Okay. <laughs> 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 Okay, Mr. Talk something. Talk something about the What is it? 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 <laughs> like me. Look at me. You see? Hang on, hang on. So, Mary, uh, it's good. Yeah. Phoenix. Mary, eat. Like it's like four, eat something. I think I can eat it. Jadi kebanyakan pasang saya belum buang saja. You can import, you can import. If you can. Biar saya coba sudah sampai hari ini belum buang. Tahu.
Thank you, Nico, for bringing us up here. The next morning, we woke to a loud horn, poked our heads up and realised that the big water police boat was right next to us, wanting to come aboard to check us out. This was Immigration and the Water Policey, and they were just here to check out our paperwork and visas. Lovely guys and super impressed by my stamping skills. A few questions and of course, a few selfies later, and they were happy to have us stay here in Ambon. <music> So be sure to join us next time as we celebrate Taj's birthday. Lee gets the starter motor out again to find out we have more issues and Taj gets handy with some tools. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And if you find that you have subscribed but you're not knowing when our videos are getting put up, then click the little bell next to the subscribe button and that will give you notifications. We love you guys. Thanks heaps for watching. Bye. Oh, it all comes all thanks to you all. All oh, thanks to y'all.